Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are zoomed in nice and close because I wanted to show you my PM skincare routine. This is how I remove my makeup, um, what I do to my skin in the evening. So if you like these types of videos, make sure to not only give this a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe. It really, really helps my channel grow. That's something that I'm really trying to do this year, really trying to buckle down and get videos and content that you guys like out. Um, and let me know what other content you would like to see in the description box down below. Um, do you want to see a favorite masks? Because I have a few. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is if I was wearing fake lashes, I would tear, no, I would pull my false lashes off. I am wearing a full face of makeup right now, but I'm, I was just like messing around. I have a festival to go to, a 90s festival to go to, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, so that's why I look kind of crazy right now. So. The first thing that I'm going to do is go in with the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. It says melt and nourish kiwi strawberry seed blend virgin marula oil from Drunk Elephant. And it comes with this little magnetic spatula. And I use the back of the spatula just to scoop about that much out. I put it on the palm of my hand. So. I just filled the sink up with lukewarm water, especially now that it's summertime, I don't like using really hot water, but even when it's winter, it kind of sucks, but I try not to use very hot water on my skin. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my clean face halo. This face halo has seen it all, and it still comes out decently clean um, out of the wash. And I'm just going to wipe that off. I have very, very sensitive skin. For those of you who are new here, I have combination skin. Also the color I used, can't remember what it's called, maybe like sandbar or something like that, but it's probably going to stay my uh, stain up my eyelids, even though I used a primer and a concealer and stuff like that. So now that most of my makeup is off, I'm going to rinse this a little bit and I'm going to fold it in half like this. I'm going to go right under my eye, really going to try and get as much mascara off as I possibly can. And I'm being very, very gentle when I do this. Okay, so I like to take a shower at night. Um, that's just my personal preference. And in the shower, I use the Body Shop Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Clay Wash. I don't think I'm actually gonna be using this for much longer, but it's what I use right now. I'll show you how it looks first. Looks like this. And then just for some exfoliation, what I do in the shower is I just take a washcloth or another face halo and that's how I remove it. I just use very small, gentle, circular um, 
motions and just remove it very gently. I zoomed in a little bit more so hopefully you can see what I was doing. So once that's um, all off, I just pat my skin with a cloth. I really try not to rub it. Um, especially not like harshly and I'm gently gonna go under here just try and get that last little bit off and now my, my skin is dry that's the other thing the cloth in the shower that I wash my face with nobody else touches doesn't get used for anything else and this cloth right here nobody else touches doesn't get used for anything else so next i'm going to go in with the carrot cake lip scrub from lush and i'm just going to take it dry on my finger first and i'm not pressing hard or anything like that So now I'm going to go in with my eye cream. This is the same eye cream that I use during the day. It's the vitamin E from the body shop. And I really like it. I think that it does a good job. And it's, um, it's moisturizing enough that I notice a difference, but it's not so moisturizing that I can't wear it underneath makeup. And then I'm going to put my lip balm on. I use a lip mask from Laneige. This is the lip sleeping mask. My last step in my skincare routine is the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. It says it's brightening and smoothing, and I also think it technically said on the packaging that it was for like glass skin. There's pretty much a dropper full of this. Very, very gently work that into the skin. I don't put this on my eyes or anything like that or super close to my eyes. Alright, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how my skin looks after. I don't have perfect skin, but this is a heck of a lot better than what my skin used to be like. Um, so I'm really happy with it. I like the products that I've chosen and I hope that this was informational for you guys. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend it with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.